Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Stop. Ta-da. Could you see me? You know I like to make an entrance. Right, shall we get moving? navigate our way through the centre of London today, I know what you're going to be thinking. What is all that commotion going on? Well, today's a big weekend. This weekend is a big weekend. Tomorrow's the big day. It is London Marathon weekend, as in the London Marathon is tomorrow. I think there was a mini race that went on this morning. I'm not 100% sure, but the big, big, big one is tomorrow. And I know what you're thinking. James, are you not running the London Marathon? Well, no. No, 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 no. Every year I say, next year, I'm going to run the London Marathon. That year hasn't come yet though. So for now, I'm going to leave it to the pros. But here we are with the new X4. And I don't know about you, but the X4 release did take me a little bit by surprise. I was expecting it a little bit later on in the year, but I ain't complaining. A new camera, a new toy to play with. Yes, please. And that is exactly what we're going to do today. You know how it is over here. We like to get out in the real life and put these cameras to the test and just walk and talk and play. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. Oh, that rhymes. Walk and talk and play. And that's what we're going to do today. Yes. Now, I usually start these videos and actually film these type of videos in this location where I am today. Big Ben is over there. Westminster Abbey is behind me. Uh, yeah, so I usually end up starting here and actually ending here sometimes as well. So I thought today, you know what? We're going to switch things up and I'm going to take you to a brand new location that I haven't featured in these videos yet. So we are going to make our way over there uh, throughout this video as we walk and talk uh, and yeah, try and navigate through this craziness that is London Marathon weekend. And like all of these videos that I do, everything you're seeing and hearing right now and throughout this video is going to be coming direct from the X4 so you can get a full feel of how it sounds and how it looks. Now, there are gonna be moments where I do switch over to an external mic when I've got the camera like above me because you just wouldn't be able to hear me. But anytime I've got an external mic connected, I will make sure I put it on the screen so you know the audio is coming from an external mic. And we are gonna be doing some comparisons to the X3, of course we are, and a couple more surprise comparisons, which of course means that, yeah, those bits won't be shot on the X4, but I can confidently say most of the video will be shot on the X4, audio and visuals. This bit says no entry, but we are going to break the rules and enter. Uh, I wanted to go the other way, but we've already come to a bit of a crossroads because so many things are, so many roads are closed off. So we're going to go up here and yeah, hope for the best. Um, so what am I shooting in? What are the settings right now? I will put them on the screen, but we are shooting in the max 8K, of course, 25 frames 
frames per second. The bit rate is set to high. The sharpness is set to low. What else is there? Uh, normal video mode, 360 mode. Uh, and the audio is on the new setting right now. Auto wind reduction. Now, usually I don't like putting wind reduction on because I think it makes the voice sound very processed and underwater. So you end up sounding like a fish. Uh, fish, yeah. Well, not exactly like a fish because obviously a fish would be more like uh, but <laughs> and they actually didn't make a massive scene in their like promo highlights about the upgraded microphones and audio so I was thinking before the X4 arrived that I was gonna have to film this whole video with an external mic because if the mics and audio were the same as the X3 which is pretty bad there was no way I could walk around yeah, with all the ambient noise and wind that would be there speaking to just the camera because you wouldn't be able to hear me. So I plan to use an external mic, but actually when I did the tests, when I got the X4, I was pleasantly surprised. So I said, you know what? I don't need to have an external mic connected to me through the whole video, which actually is just great. So I've actually decided to spin 360. Ah, <laughs> yeah, you like that? Spin 360 and come back the way that I just came from because there's a lot of it, really like, there's a lot of restrictions up there. And I think this is gonna be the common theme throughout the video, which actually is just very fitting. The fact that I'm filming a 360 uh, review video and I'm gonna have to keep doing 360 spin round if there's blockages or restrictions so yeah here we are back at the no entry sign and yeah again we're gonna break the rules and enter okay so what are the highlights what are the headliners well you're probably sick of hearing them all by now but just in case it's dealer just in case this is the first x4 video you're clicking on let me bring you up to speed basically 8k 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 up to 30 5.7k up to 60 and 4k up to 100 so smoother actiony shots here we come uh, or you could obviously slow things down as well and i know what you're thinking james are you not going to show us an example of those higher frame rates higher resolutions and slow things down so we can see how buttery smooth it looks why don't you do some running for us seeing as it is london marathon weekend well, my answer to that is a simple. I'm gonna leave that for the pros. I can't, I can't. Okay, you, okay, you want me to run, don't you? you? You want me to give you a little jog. Okay, we'll do a little jog, but very, very quick, very, very small. We'll call it quits and we won't speak about it again. Mate, even the police are looking. The police are literally looking at me. There's two, there's two guys, they've got guns. <laughs> Don't be surprised if you never see me again. Uh, they, they literally came out from behind the gates uh, <laughs> because obviously I was just running around <laughs> with this stick <laughs> in my hand. Um, oh, look, look what it is over here. This is the medical tent. Great, perfect timing. I'm just gonna go in there, so BRB. Right, I'm back out of the medical tent, semi-recovered. I don't know how you guys and girls do it running these marathons, bravo. Apps, you know what, actually, this deserves a put the camera down and clap, bravo. Absolutely bravo. I don't know how you do it, but you do it. And that is that. I could barely do those few hundred yards. I didn't even know if it was 100 yards. I think it was a few feet. <laughs> Cool, so uh, that was, yeah, that was the resolutions and frame rates. And talking of resolutions and frame rates, in single lens mode, uh, you can now shoot 4K up to 60. And I know what you're thinking, James, why don't you show us some more running? Uh, simply, no. 
but I will show you single lens mode 4K 25 so you can see how single lens mode looks. Uh, and right now we are actually at the finish line. Well, what will be the finish line tomorrow? So yeah, this time tomorrow there'll be thousands of people running through these gates. Some of them falling all over the floor. Some of them raving their hands in the air. It's all gonna be quite a scene. I mean, again, bravo to everyone that makes it this far. I wouldn't even make it as far as, well, past the kind of, what, what's the, uh, the beginning bit because the start line there you go start i forgot what the beginning bit this is the finish line so yeah that's the start line i wouldn't make it past the start line so yeah tomorrow it's all going to be going on right here but this is how single lens mode looks and of course in single lens mode you can have it facing out like it is at the moment or you could use the other lens and face it towards you so you could walk around and do yeah like vloggy style videos uh, in single lens mode you know what i've just realized i feel like walking around with the x4 attached to the selfie stick you know when you see those tour groups with a person at the front with a flag in the air so the whole group doesn't get lost so they can just follow along easily I feel like one of them I'm just walking around with this stick in the air uh, right where are we highlights so you get two removable lens guards included inside the box so if you drop the x4 there's a better chance of survival um, the display is gorilla glass display so it's tougher than the x3 but I must say if you find yourself coming face to face with a gorilla mate I don't think it's gonna have any problem snapping it right in half. <laughs> but I must say the screen is just, yeah, wow. It's, it's a lot better than the X3. It's a lot more responsive. It's a lot more brighter. It is, yeah, you can, when you've got them side by side, you can really tell the difference. You're like, hold on a minute. How did I use the X3 for that long with it looking like that? So yeah, you can definitely tell the screen has been upgraded gesture and voice control 2.0 67 percent more battery than the x3 when shooting in 5.7k ai highlights and as i said upgraded microphones <laughs> there are a few things that I personally love that I've picked up that are not staring directly at you um, starting with the fact that we can now see the remaining battery percentage you heard correct you can now press on the little battery icon in the top right and see the remaining battery percentage if you've watched some of my previous videos you understand why I'm so excited about this because I couldn't understand why we couldn't do that before but now we can and not only that when you plug it in to a power source uh, and it's turned off you get the battery percentage display on the screen which again is great in fact it's so great and i was so happy when i found out that i think it deserves some confetti cannon bravo yes 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 you can also set it to turn on and start recording straight away when it's connected to a power source so for example you could literally use it as a 360 dash cam have it connected to your car whenever you turn the car on obviously there's power and bang you've got a 360 dash cam just like you can on the ace pro you can hold down the record button on the x4 to cancel out a recording so let's say you mess up and you don't want it to save that clip uh, just yeah hold it down and that will save you space and time later on so you don't have to sift through everything you've got more options to customize the quick button on the side oh whoa <laughs> You've got more options to customize the uh, quick button on the side of the X4 versus the X3. And when you take a recording on the X4, it only saves two files versus three files on the X3. You've got the option to turn rotation lock on or off on the X4, similar to how it kind of works on a phone. So when you 
have the X4 like turned horizontal, the screen will turn horizontal as well, which is quite handy when you're, yeah, well, when you've got the X4 horizontally. Uh, so yeah, you can turn that on or off and yeah, we didn't have that on the X3, so a nice little upgrade. They've also added this feature, timed capture. So essentially what you could do is set the X4 up, uh, I don't know, at the end of your bed uh, to do a time lapse of you waking up in the morning. Well, at the end of your bed, are you gonna do that? Maybe, maybe, yeah, it'd be, be, be interesting. But yeah, let's say you set it up at the end of your bed, your alarm goes off at eight. You could set the X4 to literally start recording at eight o'clock. And not only that, you can set the shooting modes, the shooting parameters, like all of the settings, you can literally set it up. So at eight o'clock, it will literally start shooting how you've set it straight away. And there you've got your time-lapse of you waking up. I mean, you probably might use it for like nighttime stuff, like, I don't know, the shooting the stars, stuff that you would probably want to shoot whilst you're asleep. I don't know, you, you could you could do a time-lapse of you waking up. There's no rules, that would <laughs> be interesting. But yeah, timed capture, timed capture. Another small thing that is very small but actually does make a big difference is the fact that you can now touch the screen to wake the camera up. So let's say you've set it to automatically turn the screen off after, I don't know, 60 seconds. Before, you would have to press one of the buttons and the issue I had with that is Let's say you press the record button or the menu button, sometimes it would start a recording or whatever when you press the button. Uh, whereas now you can actually turn the function on so you can just tap the screen and it will wake up again. Which again is very small, but if, if you understand what I'm saying with what I just said with like other cameras, like let's take the X3 that doesn't have that where you have to press the buttons to wake it up again. Sometimes it's a bit annoying. So it's just those small things that I'm like, you know what? Yeah, and you know what actually? I think that deserves another confetti cannon, yeah! <laughs> so those are just some of the like small little things that just have made me smile, that are not like staring at you in front of your face. And there's, there's still some more goodies hidden in the settings, which I'll cover like a whole thing in another video. We won't go for all of them, but those are the little things that have made me smile that, yeah, are not just the headliners. And I've actually put the uh, tripod down on this ledge. We're by the Thames now. We've made our way up. Uh, I'll, I'll obviously spin the camera around so you can take a look. The wind has calmed down. I don't know whether this is a bit risky, how I've, how I've put it. Uh, I'm, I'm ready to grab. I'm ready to grab. Uh, just in case I'm ready to grab, but the wind is quite calm down now anyway. So those are the little things that have made me smile. What are some of the things that have made me, if you don't know what that is, that's get a little bit sad about. So when I was doing my initial test when the X4 arrived, some of the test shots, in fact, a lot of the test shots, have these weird lens flares in them. Um, and like, I don't know if they've appeared in this video today, obviously, because I haven't watched this footage back on the screen yet. So I'll be interested to see when I watch this back. But yeah, I've got a lot of clips, which I'll obviously insert and show you, uh, where there's some weird lens flaring going on. This is really uncomfortable, by the way. I'm just like, <laughs> I don't know. You know what, maybe let me take the backpack off, but that's probably why. Oh, that's better. Look at that. <laughs> and talking of the first day I got the X4, let me tell you one thing. Trying to activate this thing with the app, it was a pain in absolutely everything. I couldn't get it to connect to the app. I had to delete the app and reinstall it twice before it finally found it. No word of a lie, it took me about 45 minutes to finally get the X4 to connect. I thought there was something wrong with it. I literally thought there was something wrong with it. I was like, this is ridiculous. Um, so yeah, the app, the connecting to the app, nah, mate, nah, it needs to be fixed. Something, whatever it is, needs to be fixed because of the process of that. And I remember now, I had a similar issue with the X3. It took me so long to do it. I don't think it took me as long, but it took me so long to the point where I thought there was something wrong with the X3 and it turned out there wasn't, it just took long. And now when I open the app to connect it, it finds it straight away. It's just that initial, connection to activate it at the beginning that for some reason it just yeah just doesn't find it right x3 versus x4 now remember earlier when i said it felt like i was one of those tour guide people walking around with a flag in my hand because i was holding the selfie stick up let me tell you it does not feel like that anymore i've got these two sticks in my hand and it feels like, it feels like I'm ready to fight. That's what it feels like. It feels like I'm ready to fight. 
Okay, so I'll put on the screen the current video settings uh, on each of the cameras and both of the cameras are in stereo as the audio mode because on the X3 you don't have the auto wind reduction and when you put it in wind reduction on both the cameras it sounds underwater like I said earlier so I've put it in stereo now there's a lot of ambient noise coming from the cars and stuff so it'd be interesting to see how this sounds or if you can even hear me <laughs> but yeah this is x3 versus x4 side by side um and you know what i mean yeah there's a visible difference like i i can't even see it now but obviously in the tests i've done it's just i mean it's when they say it's like night and day it literally is the image is so much brighter and colorful uh colorfuler yeah colorfuler on the x4 than it is on the x3 and by the way just in case before i forget the battery for the x3 does not fit in the x4 because the x4 is I will, i'm not going to say massively bigger but it is bigger than the x3 therefore the battery does not fit right so i've now changed the resolution on the x4 to 5.7k to match the x3 uh so yeah see if you can see any difference yeah any different any difference any different any difference oh look at that it's nice and quiet it feels like there was a lot going on we are still on the marathon route by the way don't forget about that we haven't spoke about the marathon in a little while maybe i should have done the running segment up here earlier this 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 is a lot more clearer and not that many people and there's no police with guns around here ready to shoot me down like there was earlier but anyway we are still on the marathon route and yeah this is what the X3 and the X4 is saying back to back. And look at that sky. I mean, through the X4 screen, it looks bloody great. Through the X3 screen, it doesn't look so great. But yeah, <laughs> we are where we are. Right, let's go through some numbers. So every mode that's available on the X3 is available on the X4. So obviously normal video mode, active HDR, the max resolution is 5.7K on them both. Uh, time lapse is 8k max on the x3 and 11k max on the x4 time shift 5.7k max on the x3 8k max on the x4 bullet time 4k max on the x3 5.7k max on the x4 and then you've got loop recording star lapse burst interval and hdr photo 18 megapixels max on the x3 72 megapixels max on the x4 and in normal photo mode both are maxed out at 72 megapixels oh and i've also put a note battery percentage displayed on the x4 but we did go through that earlier and that's not available on the x3 you know what let's fire another confetti cannon because that battery percentage yeah that battery percentage deserves as many confetti cannons as we can give it now, I know what you're thinking. James, can you show us the X4 next to the Ace Pro? Well, you know I'm here to deliver. Yes, I can. Here we are, Ace Pro X4. Both maxed out at 8K, both in stereo as the audio mode. Let's swivel over. I can definitely see the London Eye on the Ace Pro screen. I can't see it that well on the X4, so I don't know how that's gonna come out. Uh, at the moment, obviously, the X4 is in 360 mode. I will switch it over to uh, single lens mode. I forgot what it was called for a minute. Yeah, single lens mode. We'll switch over to single lens mode in a minute so you can see. Let's walk over here in the shade so you can get a view of how things are when it's not so sunny and go back over to the marathon track where it will be very, very, very busy and a different scene tomorrow. Not a car in sight, but there will be a lot of people running. Well, actually, what's the time? It may, nah, there will still be people running. Yeah, yeah, still be people running. Right, we're now in single lens mode on the X4, which is maxed out at 4K. And I don't know if you can make out, but there is an Uber boat over there. So I don't know if you have an Uber boat where you are, but we do have Uber operating on the waters here in London. I was very, very shot the first time I saw it. Uh, but yeah, that is an Uber boat. Not that one over there. I can't point to it because I've 
my hands are currently occupied with two sticks <laughs> it's just in the background i don't think you'll be able to see it but yeah it does say like uber boat in big letters on it but yeah this is ace four ace four no ace pro back to back with the x4 in single lens mode okay comparisons done on with the shot sorry what can i show you the x4 next to the pocket three okay okay quickly though quickly 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 here you go it feels so strange holding the pocket three in my hand like it's not on a stick and obviously it's so much more lighter and smaller than the x4 <laughs> so my fingers are struggling to to hold it just yeah adjusting but here we go so I've got the resolutions on both maxed out uh, on them both as to what they are as in 4K on the Pocket 3 and 8K on the X4. Uh, X4 is currently in 360 mode. Uh, and yeah, this is what it is looking like. Uh, looking good on both screens, looking good on both screens. I'll quickly switch over to single lens mode on the X4 as well. So you can see a side by side on that. But so far, yeah, so good. Look, looking, looking pretty good. And now single lens mode on the X4, which is obviously, like I said earlier, maxed out at 4K. So both of them now currently shooting at 4K. And again, yeah, looking pretty, pretty good on both screens. Right, comparisons definitely, definitely done. Now on with the show. They say, save the best things till last. And I told you at the beginning of the video, I had something special for you at the end, somewhere that I hadn't been in my videos so far. So with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, this is Tower Bridge.